to Children's Liturgy of the Word. My name is Tish, and that's my husband, Mike. Hello. And today we're celebrating the fifth Sunday of Lent, okay? And we're going to start with the prayer of the day. God, who made us and give us life, your Son, Jesus, came upon us to raise the dead from their graves and give us all a life that will never end. We love you for this and pray to you and we will have the, that life. And so live with you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Now we'll have the first reading. Okay. And the first reading is from the Old Testament and it's a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. God said, I am going to make a new covenant with my people. It will not be like the covenant I made with the ancestors long ago when I brought them away from Egypt. My people broke that covenant. By this new covenant I'm making with people now, I will place my law within their hearts. I will be their God, and I, they will be my people. Everyone from the smallest to the greatest will know me. I will forgive all the wrong they have done, and I will forgive all their sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Now we'll do the response, okay? Okay. In your kindness, O oh my God. In your kindness, O oh my God. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. We'll do the gospel acclamation. Go now. Go now. Do not sin. Do not sin. The good news of God. The good news of God. Is for you. Is for you. Very good. That's very good. Okay. Now we'll do the first reading, and the first, I mean the gospel, and the gospel is the reading from the gospel of John. And for the gospel, what do we do? That's correct. We stand up out of reverence and honor, and then we make the sign of the cross how many times? Three times, that's correct. So first, do we start over a forehead, we go up and down, and then across. Remember, we do that because we're asking the Lord to open our minds, in a sense, to understand what's being read. Because sometimes it's hard. And then over our lips, we go up and down and then across. We do that because we're asking the Lord to help us remember. Help us remember what we learned so we might get a chance to share it. Either by a question or a conversation, we get to add what we know. Um, and then over our hearts, we go up and down and then across. We do that because we're asking the Lord to help us remember. To be more friendly and neighborly to everyone we meet this week. Now we listen to the gospel. Jesus said to Philip and Andrew, You know that if you do not do not bury a grain of wheat, it's just one grain of wheat. But if you bury it in the ground, it grows and becomes many grains. In the same way, people who try to hold on to their lives will lose them. But those that are willing to give up their lives will live forever. And when I am lifted up, I will bring all people to me. When he said this, Jesus was telling them 
how he was going to die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, now, sit right where you Okay, so I'm going to explain the first reading, and Michael will explain the Gospel. In this first reading, God makes a covenant with us, okay? There was an old covenant, the old times with the Israelites, and they broke that covenant. So he's making a new covenant with us. And by covenant, we promise, you know, to do good, okay? And with the new covenant, there comes responsibility, you know? We're held accountable for our deeds, you know? So we are responsible for God and for helping other people. And everyone is included in the covenant, you know? And he forgives us for the wrongs, you know? So he explains to us that, we're very, you know, he's giving us a chance with this covenant to fulfill. So we all have a promise to God to do good, okay? okay. In the gospel, it talks about Jesus, and it talks about a little story, which is actually a pretty good way of describing it. If you have seeds for plants, and you never put them in the ground, they never flourish, or get bigger, or better, or anything. And if you put them in the ground, you will get a plant, and hopefully it'll grow the fruit or whatever of the plant, or more flowers, whatever you're growing. Jesus uses this example for us. For instance, if you're good at something and you don't practice, do you get better? No, you don't. Soccer, baseball, if you don't practice all the time, golf, anything, if you don't keep practicing, you won't get better. In some cases, you can even lose the how to do it all together. Uh, skateboarding, biking, you don't practice those things, you won't get better. Sometimes you can even get worse. So uh, he is asking us to take these things to heart. So keeping them in mind. So when we practice doing good and trying to do better, those are all, you know, practicing always helps us. So, but he also was using this as a glimpse of, he was telling them that when Jesus dies on the cross, he will rise and everything Jesus said will be even bigger and better than before. Ah, they don't quite understand that yet, but he's giving the hint to them that this is what's going to happen. If Jesus didn't do this, we would never have the example how to get to heaven. Jesus shows us how by doing this, but because he did this for us, his sins can be forgiven, uh, kindness and helpfulness and all the things that Jesus teaches make sense and everything. And then glorious, we get to go to heaven. So it's even better than before. So this is why he asks us to remember to take it to heart. We try the best we can and follow what Jesus asked us. And then we too can get to heaven. So it's an example of Remembering your gifts, your talents, the things you're good at. Sometimes you don't even know what they are yet, but always try to practice on them. Try to practice being good so that we can always get better. Okay, now we have our Oh. Oh, wow. What a name. <laughs> okay, so on March 23rd, we celebrate St. Terbius of Mojero. He was a bishop, and he died in 1606. He was famous in Spain and Peru. He was canonized in 1726. He's the patron saint of Latin American bishops. Now, he was a priest, but the, they made him a bishop right away. And Tobias rather gathered all the bishops to a council. They said, decided to print a catechism in the Indian language, he set up classes for the poor to regulate the sacrament, to reform priests, to serve the poor, and learn Indian language. 
and he baptized them, confirmed them, he built hospitals, and he established the first seminary in the New World. So that's St. Gervius. Okay, now we'll do that. Now we'll do the Apostles' Creed, okay? I, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Okay, now we'll do the prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church, for Pope Francis, for bishops, priests, and deacons, religious, and all who serve the people of God in love and faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parents and family, members who love us and care for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parishioners who may be sick or alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for anything you think of, whether you're at home in the car, in your room, or whatever, uh, wherever. And we also pray, no matter where you are thinking of a person or a situation or something like that, we ask you to simply say this prayer to yourself. We ask the Lord to hear that prayer and to answer it as quickly as possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Okay, so it was so nice to see you. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good week and take care. Okay, bye-bye. Jesus, 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 Just so